you can literally see the tension around my cuticles and how it's pulling with my skin. That's how you know your nail is gonna last and that's how you know you applied it right. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianne. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right. Today we are getting into some nail care. I just went ahead and did my luxurious press-ons, girl, by myself. I also, just beat my face, so hopefully I don't got no makeup on my nails right now. But girl, I just did my nails. These are press-ons. Okay. Get into it. Get into it. They're so cute. I did like a little like an abstract detail on it i used some new products i upgraded my amazon idea list of all the products that i use so let's go ahead and get to some faqs before we get into the actual tutorial because y'all be blowing me up okay i posted a nail video and it hit like 1.1 million views so i get a lot of comments on the daily about nails so i want to just hit some important facts right here right now okay how long do my nails last two to three weeks okay before they look dingy and i want to redo them okay i don't refill i just pop them off they're press ones y'all at the end of the day these are press ones i pop these holes off and i'll put on a fresh new set after two to three weeks have passed okay what products do you use I'm going to put my phone, a screenshot of my phone, and we're going to scroll through the list of all the stuff that I use. The LED lamp, the nail polishes, and all that will be on this screen right here. Screenshot. Y'all need a screenshot. Just go to the link in the description or the comments and shop, girl. Okay. All right, what else y'all be asking? Uh, how do I do my right hand? With my left hand, I'm a little ambidextrous, baby. And I didn't start that way. It takes practice. You'll eventually learn. The more you do something, the better you get. Simple. I didn't used to know how to braid hair. The more I did it, the better I learned. Like, it's really easy, y'all. Like, honest to God. Now that y'all got that information, let's get into the tutorial. We got a new setup. I came into the bathroom, set everything out nicely. And, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy. I'll be putting y'all on. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, the first thing you want to do when it comes to your nails is prep them. I like to buff, shape, and cut my cuticles. I got this buffer from a set that I previously purchased, so it's not on my Amazon storefront. Um, I also like to shape them and foul them. I like to keep my natural nails pretty short under my sets. Now, this part is very, very important. You want to push back your cuticles. This is going to make sure that your nails don't lift when you wear your sets. And off camera, I like to cut my cuticles because I really want to pay attention because one time I nicked myself. Um, and if you are having troubles with your nails lasting, you might want to invest in a nail prep dehydrator. It just dries out your natural nail and it helps them last. In terms of applying my soft gel sets, I like to use the Kiss Pink Gel. It's my favorite. These are the Savillon nail tips that are linked to my Amazon storefront. They are soft gel tips. Um, they last really long. They're really durable. Somebody was in my comments talking about do my nails bend. Girl, what I look like walking around with bendable nails? No. They're nice and sturdy. So what I do is I match them to my natural nail shape. And then I apply two drops of glue. I spread it out. And then I add the nail directly to my nail bed. And that's basically it. So this is what you should have after applying all of your tips. I am pulling and tugging at my nail and nothing is lifting. You can literally see the tension around my cuticles and how it's pulling with my skin. That's how you know your nail is going to last and that's how you know you applied it right. You don't see no bubbles, no nothing. And make sure that you don't apply too much gel so you don't have spillage. Now it's time to cut my nails. Um, this trimmer came with a Savillon kit. It's currently on sale right now for $9.99 and usually it's like $20. So get you one, okay? I also like to hold my 
trimmer the wrong way because I'm able to see the blade move up and down and I, it makes me feel like I have better control. Now today I'm going to do pointed almonds. So I like to take a pair of raggedy scissors <laughs> and I trim the sides of my nail just a little bit because it just gives me a better starting point because I used to struggle with um, fouling the nails with this shape. Yeah, I got these new fowlers. They're on my Amazon storefront. I love them. The soft side I use to buff out the nail, you know, get all the shine off the top. And then the harder side is what I use to actually shape. And what I do is I make the sides nice and pointed and then I just round out the tip. It's as simple as that. You do it over and over and over again until you get your desired shape. So like I said earlier, this is called pointed almond. Other shapes I've done in the past are tapered square. I used to love coffin, um, and that's the shape that these nails naturally come in. They come in coffin shape, um, but Savalon nail tips do have other shapes that you can buy. Now let's get into this transition right here because this is smooth. Get into it. Okay, now that you are all shaped and buffed, um, some people go in with a base coat. I am lazy, so I'm going right in with my base nail color, which is from the Vis Vision brand, something like that, girl. Of course, it's linked on Amazon storefront. I don't remember what number of pink I'm using, but they're actually all very similar. I do three coats of this. I cure in between each coat for 30 seconds, 20 to 30, depending on how I'm feeling. Now that you have your base coat, you can stop there or you can go in with some designs. I'm going to use this tiny brush. It's also linked to my Amazon storefront. And I'm doing some like abstract swirlies. Um, I use the pointed brush and then I also use the flat brush that it comes with because it's just easy to go back and forth. And make sure you're carrying in between. Like before you add your top coat, you want to make sure that all this nail polish is completely dry or you will be very annoyed. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're not into abstract, you can just do a regular French, or like I said, you could stop with just the pink. But I'm gonna go in with some alcohol, clean off any dust or any of these particles that came from this white towel that I'm sitting on, and I'm gonna go in with a top coat. Top coats are essential to making sure that your nails last even longer and making sure they look nice and shiny throughout your wear. And this time around, I like to cure for about 60 seconds because I want to make sure that everything is dry. And then I go in with the oil. It's not cuticle oil, but it's oil, so we won't use it, okay? Because I spent my money on it. But yeah, my nails came out so cute. I love them. Again, they are going to last me two to three weeks. And when they look old and dingy, I just pop them off. They lift up completely as like one whole nail. And then I just reapply a new nail. I hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial. If it was informative, please give me a like. Make sure that you comment down below and subscribe if you haven't. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.